Well, good morning, you guys, and welcome to What I Eat in a Day. And this is a very exciting day. Look what's back. Oh my gosh, how I've missed it. Now, <clears throat> it is super cold today. I mean, it's like 34 degrees right now. So, normally when it's this cold, I would do like a warm feeling for my first feeling, like coffee, like a coffee shake. But I have missed this so much, and my favorite way to fix it is cold with almond milk and ice and PB2 powder. So that's what we're doing. So let's get started. First thing I need is some ice. Of course, if I get ice, then we have this situation right here. She is so gentle when she wants to be. This one, not as much. <laughs> and Boomer, he is snuggled up on the couch and he said ice just ain't worth it. So he's not coming. All right, so to my ice, I'm now gonna add half a cup of water and a half a cup of almond milk. The almond milk is not to change the flavor, it's just to make it thicker, more like a milkshake. So here I go. You can hear the dogs crunching their ice in the background. All right, so a half a cup of water. And then a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. This will count as a half of a condiment because one whole cup counts as a condiment. Did you know that anything that is 30 calories or less and one carb or less counts as a condiment or can count as a condiment? That's a nice little macro count to put to memory. All right, and then I'm gonna add to this one tablespoon of PB2 powder. Two tablespoons of the powder is, is your optional snack for the day. So this is half of my optional snack. One tablespoon. And that is purely for flavor because I love chocolate peanut butter. And then the rich dark chocolate shake. Oh my. Let me blend it up, y'all. Oh, I've missed this, y'all. It's still good. <laughs> okay, fueling number one. I'll catch y'all back here for fueling number two. It is so cold today. It has not warmed up yet. It has not warmed up yet. So, oatmeal it is. So here's how I make my oatmeal. This is the apple cinnamon orchard oatmeal. It's my favorite. We also have the uh, brown sugar and maple, but this is actually my favorite. Super simple. All you do, oatmeal in the bowl, water. Um, I always use less water than it calls for because I like my oatmeal thick. Um, it's two thirds cup. As prepared, I put a half a cup because like I said, I really like my oatmeal thick. All right, so just gonna stir it around and here's a tip. Be sure that you put your oatmeal in either a deep bowl or a wide bowl because it tends to bubble out if you don't. All right, two minutes in the microwave and we will have oatmeal. My oatmeal is out and it's very thick, but that's how I like it. Now, what I'm gonna do, oh, I can smell the apple. I like a little crunch in my oatmeal, pecans. So I'm putting four pecan halves in here and this will count for the other half of my optional snack. So, you know, I used the one tablespoon of PB2 powder this morning in my shake. So now I'm gonna put the little pecan halves, just four pecan halves. That's one optional snack. All right, oh, I forgot my spoon. There's my oatmeal. It's warm. My, hang on. <laughs> the bowl is hot. The bowl is hot. Okay, here we go. It's so cold today, y'all. I'm loving this cold weather because I decorated for Christmas this weekend. And so in Texas, sometimes you'll decorate for Christmas and it'll be 80 degrees outside. You got your air condition running. So this is nice. I actually could have had a fire in the fireplace. That's what I should have done. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh. I just love the oatmeal. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this, and I think that one needs to go out. <laughs> You're just such a little camera hog. Come over here. Come here and say hello. 
You know, y'all can't see her. Hang on. <laughs> you know, sir. Okay, I better go let them out and eat my oatmeal. And then when we come back for our my third fueling, Lucy's moving my camera. When I come back for my third fueling, um, I'm actually fixing to start wrapping some presents. So we might do a little bit of that together. That might be fun today. All right, I'll so see you. One of the things I'm doing today is I'm wrapping Christmas presents. So um what I used to love when I would wrap Christmas presents, I would turn on the Christmas music and I would break out the eggnog. This was just like my tradition. I used to love to sip on eggnog while I was wrapping presents. Well, eggnog, not on plan right now. So this is the next best thing for me. I love a vanilla chai latte. Um, I used to get them at Starbucks all the time, but there again, too much sugar. So what I like to do is I brew chai tea. This is the kind I use. Normally I do it with my Keurig and I just use a K-cup, but I was out of them. And so I always have this as kind of a backup. And so I just, I just brewed some tea. So I've got my tea right here in my little shaker cup. And then to that, I'm gonna add the vanilla creamy shake, the creamy vanilla shake. And then I'm just gonna shake it up and it's warm and it's so good. The cinnamon and the vanilla, so good. Not exactly eggnog, but you know what? It's a lot better for me. So let me get this ready, hold on. All right, so I'm just gonna take my little tea bag out. All the yummy goodness in there. Okay. And then I'm gonna add my creamy vanilla shake. Get the lid on there good and tight. Here it snap. And then just shake it up. Okay. There we go. Pour it in my cup. It's not eggnog, but it sure is good. Mm. It's warm, which is very good because it's so cold. This is actually so good, y'all. I don't even miss the eggnog. I'm serious. This is so good. You got to try this. All right, let's go wrap some presents. All right, so here is, I got all my wrapping paper out. Whoops. I organized my wrapping paper in there. I saved boxes from year to year right there. I did buy some new wrapping paper. Isn't that cute? Two boxes. I store all my like ribbon. Yes, I'm a ribbon saver. I save ribbons from year to year from Christmas. And my tags. So here's all my goodies. So let's get to wrapping. I do, this is a little trick that I do when I'm wrapping, you know, like a bunch of presents at once. So I don't have to stop and start and get all the wrapping stuff out and then clear the decks to put another thing together. I get everything together first. And so then I just write their little names. I, that way I know who it's for when I wrap it. Okay, so all my presents always get ribbon and a tag. So for this one, I am gonna use the buffalo check. Y'all all do ribbon. Um, I have friends sometimes they are like, I can't believe you do an actual ribbon bow on all your presents. That's the funnest part. It's like dressing up your presents. Mm -hmm. Nothing too fancy, but it has a bow for a tag. Rudolph, it's done. It's time for my fourth fueling. Um, I'm having a brownie. Just felt like a brownie day. All right, so here's how I make my brownie. This calls for three tablespoons of water. I don't usually put three tablespoons. I'm always tweaking stuff. And it's usually just a texture thing. I love that they come with their own little ramekins. People do all kinds of things with these brownies. They waffle them, they make them into brownies, I mean uh, muffins, all kinds of things. That is fine and it, you know, no problem. I like them just right out of the little ramekin. My husband has one every night and he does not cook it in here. He always puts it in its own little, like a real like ceramic ramekin. I don't know why, but he just does. Ivy, she's drinking out of the fountain. Do you not have water in your bowl? Get down. <laughs> I wish I could have gotten a picture of that. Okay, so I'm, I gotta, she must need water. All right, so I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna start with like two tablespoons. I like my brownie batter thick. 
Brownie batter should be thick. Cake batter is runny. Brownie batter is thick. So we're just stirring this up. Yep, that's about how I want it. So that was about two tablespoons. So I do two tablespoons instead of three. About. All right. And then the package I think says cook it for a minute and 15. Actually, it says a minute 30. I'm such a rebel. I cook it for 45 seconds because it's supposed to be gooey. Hold on. That looks good. It's steaming. I think I'm gonna have to wait a second because it's steaming pretty good. I'll burn my tongue. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's hard to wait. I'm impatient. Can you see the steam coming off? Look at the little yogurt chips. I always say the little yogurt chips taste kind of like um, cream cheese frosting to me. All right, I've waited long enough. Mm. It's gooey like a brownie should be. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy this. And then Scott and I will meet you back here for our leaning green tonight. We're having one of our favorites. Cheesy taco skillet. There you go. Bam. It's leaning green time. Yes. And let's show it here. Let's see if I can angle down so they can see. Oh yeah. There we go. It is cheesy taco <laughs> skillet. Easy, oh my gosh. Cheesy. It's so good. So it has, and I'll put the recipe in this in this video, of course, but it's got taco meat and then it's got all kinds of vegetables. And it's so good because he's not a big vegetable eater. And no, I'm not. He's really not, but he will eat this. He That's will not, clean his bowl when he like gets- it's like me, cheesy. Oh, stop. <laughs> Take a bite. Our, our son-in-law, he's got this really deep voice. And so when Jackson was little, and they would introduce new food to him, mm -hmm. they would try to get him to take a bite, and he wouldn't, and so his daddy would go, take a bite, take a bite. and Jackson would laugh, and, but then Jackson started doing it. <laughs> and he's like a year and a half, two years old, and he'd take a bite. Take anyway. a bite. Oh my gosh, we're, sorry, we're grandparents, we're old. That's what we do, we talk That's about our grandkids. All right, here we go. Mm. That was good. Colorful. Mm-hmm. Get down, Ivy. Ivy thinks she's gonna get some. Did I tell you I caught her drinking out of the fountain today? Yeah. The Christmas fountain mm -hmm. over there, the bird fountain. I was videoing, and I look up, and there she is drinking out of the fountain. You don't water your dogs. That's what I thought. And I went out there, their bowls were full, and they had just come in. She had plenty of water. Okay, anyway, we're just rambling. <laughs> we're, just, we're just having dinner time conversation, y'all. That's right. What happened today? How was your day? <laughs> it was cold out there today. It was very cold. Okay, guys, speaking of cold, we want to go eat this before it gets cold. That's so right. uh, we'll see you back here for our final fueling of the night. The gang's all here for pudding and brownie time. Lucy, you want to join us? No. And there she is. Yeah. I was the one that wanted this big chase on the yeah. end of the couch. <laughs> Ivy, lay down. Well, I think we're just gonna have to go for it because we're having brownie and pudding. Okay, so we're gonna go enjoy our our pudding. We'll Can you even see it? I don't even think they can sit there yeah. and go. <laughs> Boomer's the best one of them all. <laughs> this one right here though, y'all, this one right here. She's like a person. I mean, seriously, nope. her mama is the sweetest dog in the world. This one right here, Lucy, she's the mama. And then this is this full rotten baby. But she's like a person, the way she cuddles. Uh, okay, let's eat our pudding and brownie. <laughs> That's what we're here for, man. Right. All right, Ivy, <laughs> making it easy. All right, let's see. <laughs> It's Even good. with the dogs, it's still great. It's good. So you're sweet, you're smart. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, I thought it was about Ivy. Okay, Ivy, let's tell the people bye. You want to tell them bye? All right, guys, always, you guys have a blessed day. <laughs> stay safe and stay well. And, and us and our furry crew. We're out. <laughs> Woo!